So guys, here as you can see that I have used these two single strand copper wires uh, to hold the brushes back in their place because they were not allowing the commutator to get in this slot. Before I do that, I will also have to place it in this. Yeah, now it's gone. And now I can take it out. This one as well as this one. Let's in contact with the brushes. Now it's time finally to place the rotor back in the field. Well, it's not very smooth. Seems like there is some problem with the bushes of the armature. So guys from the previous video your question for today is what was the maximum weight that I pulled with the photocopy machine motor. So guys the motor was not working properly you see this piece this was connected here to the shaft at the back and there was another piece uh, but it was missing in the motor from the beginning so I had to make this other work piece and uh, this piece is uh, like perfect for this and uh, all the dimensions are matching 100%. You see that plastic board in that I have to place this back of the shaft with that holder so let's do that. nice fit now let's tighten up the screws and see how it performs somehow the motor was lying around and not working like thrown away and it also had two missing screws which means that it had been opened initially and uh, during the repairing the repair person lost the piece so guys the motor is fully complete now and you can see that I've placed two more screws you see little different but yeah they fit perfectly and uh, now it is running pretty good let's test it with a 12 volts battery and guys now I have another beautiful motor in my collection <laughs> pretty good performance running really nice 